Hello everybody, let's try out some expressions with sine, cosine, and smooth function. Let's go over a box. What I'll do, type in box, zoom in on that. Now we want to adjust the pivot of this box so it goes up. To do that, we'll use a value slider. I think it should go up there, 0.5. That means if we're to rotate this for the R key, you see it swings on the pivot, which is what we're looking for. We could also scale it down here. Okay, so there's the pivot. It rotates. Now let's do some basic expressions on it. Rotate on the X. Let me do dollar sign F. Dollar sign F means frame. And so here this will go around and I'm clicking on this tool over here, bottom right, that goes real time. So dollar sign F is a frame. If I were to do that by 10, that is representing just the frame moving. Now, what if we were to try a sine wave on that? Let's do a sine, S-I-N, put that in there. Now sine's gonna return a value between negative one and one. So it's moving slightly over there. But now, let me multiply that by 20. So you see, it's rocking based on a sine wave. Now, let's go into rotate Z, and I'll type in the same thing, sine, dollar sign F times 10, and then I'll multiply this by 20. Uh, I should make that cosine, change that. Okay, let's see what we get now. Rewind that and play. Aha! Uh -huh. We're combining sine and cosine together. And we're getting this unique look here. Now here's an extra bonus. How would we actually get this thing to slow down? Well, that's what the smooth function comes in for. So let me take this and I'll type in smooth. What smooth does, it takes a value, in this case the frame, and say between 50 and 100, it goes from zero to one. Let me take a look at that. Also put that over here. Times smooth takes the value, goes from 50 to 100. Let's take a look. Okay, zero, no movement. 50, there starts to be a movement. So you see that is smooth. Starts out with no movement. When it hits frame 50, it starts to multiply this thing till it gets to one. And that is adjusting that. 